My parents' house has an attic. My brother and I were always forbidden from going up there because apparently we were prone to falling down the stairs and hurting our heads. As a child, this is something you'd believe. However, when we moved out and got lives of our own, our parents started inviting us back home for the holidays. It was around Thanksgiving, and I had come home for a few days to see my parents and catch up, just before Thanksgiving Day. My mother likes to put out the Christmas decorations the day after Thanksgiving. So, she asks me now that I'm older, if I wouldn't mind going up the ladder into the attic and helping her get the things she needs from there. I, of course, willingly oblige. I make my way up there and see the box of decorations. I take a moment to take in the attic, a place that for so long I had been not allowed to go into, always seeing it as this dark and sinister place. But it was just an ordinary attic. In the corner, though, something catches my eye. I thought I saw movement. I turn my head, and at that moment, I swear I saw a person move into the wall. I just about fall from the stairs and manage to catch myself, my mother running into the room at that moment and asking me if I was okay. I look at her and say, I think I saw something in the attic. Then she turns to me with a blank stare on her face and says, and that's why you were never allowed up as children. Still creeps me out to this day. And I have never gone back up to that attic since. When I was in high school, the house we lived in generally had odd things happen to it. Our cat would freak out and stare at the cabinet as my mum had porcelain dolls and the dolls heads would frequently be facing different directions than where they were placed. The pull chain on the ceiling fan would click and strange things like that would happen. My room in particular was right next to the attic stairs. They ascended over my closet and I would quite often hear what sounded like scratching behind the wall where the stairwell was and footsteps right above my room in the attic. Easy small animals getting in the attic, right? We found a small child's bed hidden away in the corner of the attic. When we asked the neighbors, we found that the old owners had a small child that passed away. One night I was home alone and was about 16 at the time. And I heard what sounded like a closed door bouncing against the door frame. I went upstairs because the only possible closed door would be the attic. Sure enough, it was bouncing back and forth against the frame. But that wasn't it. The door handle was jiggling and turning back and forth as the door bounced. I did the only logical thing at that point, shoved the ironing board against the door and sprinted down the stairs, out the back door and went to my neighbor's house until my mum came home. This incident happened a few years ago. It was around 9 p.m. Me, my mum and my sister were getting ready for bed. It was around the middle of summer, so it was a hot night. My sister was sleeping in the living room because her room was too hot to sleep in, which was normal for us to do. We all say our good nights and head for bed. Five minutes later, my mother wakes me in a panic with my sister clutching to her side. My mum tells me to get a bat and search the house for any intruders. So I did. I found nothing, doing a very thorough search, and I come back into the living room and ask what happened. My sister kept hearing a voice that said in a very threatening way, there is no escape. Keep in mind our family are hard believers in the paranormal. We also are Wiccan and we have a protective barrier around our house. So there's no way an evil spirit could have gotten in. The next day we went out and brought sage and other herbs to cleanse our house. And since then, we've never had another experience. To this day, I'm still afraid of our house. The only spirits left in the house is an old man that lives in the attic. 
though he's a friendly spirit, so I doubt it would have been him. My only other explanation is that an evil spirit threw its voice through the barrier and into the living room, but that wouldn't explain how we haven't had any other problems. A friend of mine got a new house. He got a really good deal. It was about $100,000 or something. Really good for a small house. As soon as he moved in, something was off. He lived there with his girlfriend. The first encounter with the noises was when they were inside the house moving in. My friend was going up to the attic to store some extra stuff that wouldn't fit to pawn later. As he was going up the ladder, he heard a scrambling noise. He went up and a terrible smell hit him. It was a 20 year old house and he thought nothing of it. After he went down, he heard something in the attic. He figured it was a rodent and after a few weeks called an exterminator. The exterminator went up and found a bunch of coke, heroin and every narcotic you can think of just sitting there. He called the police and they arrived and searched the house. My friend was cuffed, the house was searched, and in the attic, they found a pipe in the corner leading to the crawl space. They didn't have a crawl space as far as they knew. The cops went back down and searched the house. They eventually found nothing, and my friend took it upon himself to break the base underneath the house. He found a living space with his stuff from the attic and a guy with long brown hair and a torn hoodie and my friend's extra shoes. He yelled for the cops, still out front, and got the hell out of there. The cops wanted the man to put his gun down and he did and they told him to get in cuffs. He walked over to the hole my friend had broke and accepted fate. He was charged with illegal drug trafficking and sentenced to a year in prison. It still creeps out my friend, even though he moved the hell away from there a few months ago, to know that some drug dealer was hiding in his house for months with a gun. <laughs>